make it easy. Welcome back to the final part of episode two. Right, uh, if I remember right, let me do this. Yo, Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat. I can to make a tree and leave. That's what we wanted. Okay, how the hell did it finish? No one messes with you. Like, you don't really question him. Tell Taylor that the game, really. Bowling for ten. Love that little that light bowling for ten. I think this is a bad idea, but we now use this. Come on, kid. Hey, there's an idea, but not while Edna's in there. Right, okay, yeah, that's an idea. Tree and die, rat! Come on, Edna. Trail of explosive boost leading right into the garage. Come on, Edna. Right He's not about to let me in. Hey, kid. He's left, phony. Make it easy. There we go. Hey, kid, he's left, phony. Come on, Anna. Hey, Mora, more on this. Can't reach them from over here. Hey! No man. Hey kid, eat left, phony. Hey kid, eat left, phony. Hey kid, eat left, phony. Back to the car. What should I do? Do you have a gun? Not a real one. Beats me. I can't reach them from over here. Are you shooting at me? Are you? Hey, kid. Eat left, phony. All right, I know what to do now. We go that. Hey, kid. Eat left, phony. And we'll go down there. No, I can't the reach them from over here. Hey! <laughs> hey, moron! More on this! Alright, maybe we have to. I am an hour to. Let's let her escape first. Hey, Mora! More on this! Yo, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Hey! Had a girl. No one messes with kid. I can't reach them from over here. I hate when I put on one. In gratitude for your continued service, Time JJ Valenti. You know, a cigarette lighter shaped like a gun seems like a really bad idea. I agree with that lie. Come on, kid. You know how this. Hey, kid! Ha! 
That ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. Yeah, oh, crap indeed. <coughs> hey, he's getting away! Oh, no. That shouldn't have took nearly as long as it did. Bad thing on my part there. Really bad on my part there. Come on, game, Lord. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Oh, look, Tana, the judge's son. Parker, I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it! Doc! Are you? Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott! No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Emmett! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? You're right. Oh, you feel nice. Known. Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? <laughs> Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Oh. All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. <laughs> I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. Oh, I, don't I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Heine. Let's go find out. Okay, game, stop logging. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kid's going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. He'll have a crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. 
That's odd. Oh dear. Continued. First, the look what's going to be in the next episode. It is. It's going to show what's going to be in the next episode, isn't it? Here we go in the next episode. Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay, no, that is really weird. Until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Oh, boy. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? What Jesus happened to you, Doc? What happened to you? Gotta get back in time. Okay then folks, in the next episode we will be getting, or next episode about the future, we will be getting episode 3. Until then, I will, until then. <laughs>